welcome to another video guys in this video we are going to see how to load a website inside our android application uh, with the help of webview so before we start i request you to please like the video and subscribe to the channel it will motivate me a lot to make more and more content for uh, you guys so yeah please subscribe and like this video so let's just uh, go and implement the web view in our android application so i have a blank activity here it's an xml file and i have the kotlin file as well so go to xml file and take the widget uh, web view i'm gonna keep width and height both match parent and i'm gonna give id as web so we don't have to do anything else in the xml file so we can close it and uh, go to sampleactivity.kt file and let me just take a global variable for our a wave view and i'll take a late init var variable so private late init var wave view of type wave view and then i'll have to initialize that inside our on create so let's initialize that web view equals to find view by id r dot id dot web then we need a url to load into our web view so let's take another private variable here but instead let in it var i'll just take here url equals to let's just load a home page of google so https google.com and yeah this will be our url and to load the url we need to uh, call an apply block on web view web view dot apply uh, i'm using apply because i'm gonna uh, perform more actions than just loading the url for but for now let's just load the url by calling the method load url and let's pass our url here then before we run our application we need to give permission to our application to access the internet because without internet no website will be uh, will work right so go to android manifest file here and here uh, in this manifest tag outside this application tags uh, open a tag and write uses permission and give permission of internet and close this tag so this way you can give a different kind of permission to your application like internet network state location permission if you want to access the media uh, you can uh, you can write media access media location content control and you, if you want to access the storage you can give external read write external storage permission as well so for now let's just uh, give internet permission because that's all what we need for review uh, so let me just close our application uh, my manifest file and let's just run our application so here we have our google home page loaded on our android application but let's just uh, search for something uh, gray developers youtube and let's search it and we'll see that it's taking me to the default browser of the device uh which i don't want as i want to have this search result in my application itself so let's just go and uh, make this functionality work so i'm gonna uh, to make that happen we just need our web view client so let's write web view client equals to take a blank instance of web look uh, web view client class so that's it we don't need to do anything else and if you want uh, to enable our javascript you can uh, uh, do that by accessing settings here uh, so settings dot in a javascript enabled equals to 
true so this way uh, the JavaScript will be enabled and you can do a lot a whole lot of stuff by accessing the settings you can uh, allow content access file access uh, caching and do a whole lot of stuff you can explore this yourself so yeah for now let's just uh, enable JavaScript through settings and let's run our application and see if we get our search result in our application itself or not so let's search for gray developers YouTube and let's hit search and it should open the results on our application inside our application itself so here we have search results as well and here is our channel so yeah but uh now let me show you one another thing if i press this back button it will close our application ideally i don't want this ideally i want to go back to our google home page so let's see how we can do that uh outside of this on create method uh you need to override one more function which is sorry which is on back pressed on back button press so before the super method or uh, what this super method does is that it will uh, perform the uh, back it will go to the previous activity or if if it doesn't find previous activity it will close the application right so in our case it closed the application so uh, before the super method we want to check if our web view can go back so web view dot can go back if it can i just want our web view to go back so i write web view dot go back and in s block i'll just keep this super method uh, i'm not using any uh, curly braces here because our condition is just of one line so it doesn't matter if we use any uh, braces here or not uh, i can but it will be same if i don't use any brace uh, curly brace here as well so to make it more understandable and yeah i've done curly braces otherwise if you have only one line after if or else line uh, you can just uh, ignore this curly braces so now let's run our application and see if uh, we can go back to our Google home page from the search result. So okay, it is run and let's search again for great developers youtube insert it if we show the result in our app itself let's go to great developers youtube and here we have our channel opened now let's press back button and see what happens it doesn't close the application instead it goes to the search page and if i press it again it will take me to the home page of google as expected but our review cannot go back more so if i press back button again it will close our application so yeah that's how you play with uh, web view so you can do a whole lot of things with web view so this was just a basic functionality and uh, how to load a website and how to you know call a web view client and how to enable javascript and some simple stuff sorry some simple stuffs uh, you can perform with web view so that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next video but before that please subscribe and like this video bye bye